four. Yes, the mic is on. Yeah, I don't know what's <laughs> going on here. Oh, there it there goes. There it is, there it is. It's thinking about it. It's there, but usually it's actually broadcasting before it thinks about it. It's tricking you yeah. so that it can catch candid yeah, moments. Oh, oh, there, there it is. And now i got to hit the go live button. Right, and then it's still going to take a second. Yeah, oh, and theoretically it's broadcasting right now, but we don't know for sure. <laughs> <clears throat> Fair enough. Oh, there we are. There oh, we are. look at that. Hello Hi. and welcome to Hi. another edition of Behind the Hats Morning Cup. Yeah. And uh, as you can see on the title there, it says beans, beans, the magical fruit. I mean, it's just beans. As you can see here, we have coffee beans. Yeah, coffee beans in the background. Big giant ones so that you can you can get plenty of them. Plenty of them, yes. And uh, and uh, as you can see, I am uh, drinking their ground-up cremated remains. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> I am, but you know, it's one of those things. I'm drinking the, the, the ground-up cremated yeah, yeah. remains of the beans here in this picture. I get it. So, all right, yeah. So you're going to have to explain this. You, you were talking yesterday, I believe, I know. about some kind of crown going with the pizza fairy. Yes. So you must explain what is going on. Well, here. I couldn't find my pizza fairy crown. Uh, yeah, I, I will. Okay, uh, the more uh, honest thing. Also, good morning, Renee. Drive safe to Flagstaff. Um, <laughs> oh, she is. Yes, says, it's I have a way be better careful. view. I have a way better view of the screen over here in our comments than you do. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, Renee's going to Flagstaff today. Drive safe. Please. Hopefully, it's not too wet the whole way down. Although they were supposed to get, I think, snow showers last night. Let us know how the weather is down there. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, I didn't look for my Pizza Fairy crown is the real story behind it. It wasn't immediately where I thought it was, so I just gave up. <laughs> so you're telling me you were just being lazy. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Uh, all right. But I still wanted to wear some type of crown today. So. And so now we have what flower. is that? flowers yeah. and a vine or something? Yeah, flowers. So you're like part Tarzan, part Jane going on here. <laughs> sure. All right, all right. And apparently butterfly earrings today, everyone, in case yes. you were wondering. Yeah, yeah. It was funny because I was looking at a uh, our our morning show from yesterday, and we were talking so many. <laughs> you mentioned probably like three or four times my kiwi earrings. Well, I didn't realize it until I watched the show. They're the same color as the green screen back here. So she so, had invisible things on her head dangling about. <laughs> yeah, it was it was just really weird to walk, to to look, and uh, so nobody saw my kiwi earrings. Because they were green. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah. Really, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's definitely a good. One. I like this shirt you have. Where, where did you oh, Where did you get that? Thank you. Um, I got this in Indiana last time I was there. Uh -huh. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Oh, and I see you found the ring that I found under a couch the other day. It was not under a couch, was it? <laughs> yes, it oh, was. I bet the dogs knocked it off the table. It could be. It could be. This but I my, found it and, my... I, and I took it and set it on a table somewhere. So. Oh, I. This is my favorite ring. Yeah. Well, apparently, uh, apparently not. Because I mean, it was missing for a it, while. No, think, it right? could no, it couldn't have been missing for a whole day. And I wear it every day. Renee says uh, they go together, butterflies like that's, flowers. That's yes, true. that's why I wore the so butterfly earrings. So if your earrings start attacking your head, it's because they're just going after the flowers. All right, all right, makes sense. What is? I can't read what that says, Lois. What is with the earrings? We just talked about the butterfly earrings. Oh, oh yes, laughing. yes. I guess. Uh, <laughs> You guys uh, saw a bit of a strangeness yesterday with the invisible kiwi earrings. Today they're butterflies. If you didn't know, the pizza fairy, Miss uh, A.K.A. Becca here, she has a kind of earring fetish. <laughs> I don't know if fetish. <laughs> fetish is not the right word. Fetish is not the right word. Okay, how about obsession? <laughs> okay, obsession. that works. Yes, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll accept that word. She's actually a member to a subscription program <laughs> that she pays monthly where they just ship her random Weird earrings. They do. Um, although I've only been subscribed to that service for two months. And so far you've been disappointed. Uh, so far I've been a little disappointed. Um, but I love funky, crazy, different earrings. Oh, we have a new... Hi, Mike. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Good morning. Um, but, but yeah, I... Uh, I like earrings. I've got uh, over a hundred pairs now. I think it's way, way over a hundred pairs. She's um, got a fishing tackle box or two full of those suckers, man. You're not lying. No, I'm not. <laughs> and I've seen, I've seen they, some that look like Coke bottle pop tops. I've yep. seen some that look like fish. Yep. Yeah, I mean, yeah, what, I what is your favorite pair of weird earrings? Oh, no, you can't do that to me. I, you, you can't, can't No. All right, I, what is one that stands out most to you as being the most unusual event? Okay, I'm going to say the most unusual is actually a pair that I got very recently. Uh, it's little tiny tubes of toothpaste. They look like little tiny tubes. They look exactly like little tiny tubes of toothpaste. <laughs> and they're adorable. And the next time I have a dentist appointment, I am wearing those suckers. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anytime you see the pizza fairy out there, make sure you check her ears to see what kind of weird, random strangeness is dangling from them. <laughs> now, see, here's the thing, though. Normally, when I'm when I'm being a pizza fairy and delivering pizzas, I wear my pizza earrings because I have pizza earrings. <laughs> you actually have pizza. Is it a whole yes. pizza or just no, a slice? No, it's a slice. It's a little slice of pizza. A little pizza. slice of pizza. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And All so right. I wear those usually when I'm delivering pizzas. Okay. All right. Well, we're definitely going to have to keep an eye out for what kind of random strangeness is coming out next. Yeah. Oh, it looks like we have some comments yeah. here. Uh, let's see. Gwenny says, good morning from Utah. Miss Hi. my hometown, Lake Powell. Aww. Well, hello. It's nice to see you. Devereaux. I'm glad we could uh, bring you some of Lake Powell to you out there. Yes. And uh, Devereaux is laughing the at laughing. us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so speaking of listeners and speaking of viewers, yesterday, before we left, like right at the end of the show, we were playing Would You Rather. Yes, yes. And we had um, our listener, Mario, uh, asked us a question. Oh, no, yes. Do you remember? I, would, I do, do remember? I do. Would you rather be a werewolf or a vampire? Or a Dracula, he said. Well, Which, a vampire. Dracula is like, you know, king vampire. Yeah, yeah. So and you had mentioned that, like, it was super easy and that you had done research into it and that you... Into clearly, the actual mythology and stuff like that. clearly yes. would have been Dracula. Oh, absolutely. Um, I want to hear your reasonings. Well... Why and, would you pick Dracula? <clears throat> well, number one, he's just cool. I mean, you know, the, the original mythology and everything. We're not talking about your standard vampire mythology where they were talking about creatures that crawl through the night. You know, the Nosferatu, if you will. <laughs> we're talking about Dracula, all right? Yes. Now, you know, we're, there's the original legend that goes back to Vlad the Impaler, who uh, was a, a nasty guy back in history that was horrific and is actually what most people believe the original Dracula legend is based on. Wow. We're talking about the mythology behind it after that. So, okay. So we're not actually talking about him. I, you know, although being a king back then, you know, and impaling your enemies in a field, yeah, I suppose, you know, to each their own, right? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like sounds like Saturday morning. I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, <laughs> if I haven't had my coffee, I wouldn't mind impaling a few people this, on spikes either. This is why he drinks coffee. It, it is, it is. He it, doesn't like it. I force him to drink it. It's, so it's, I it's not for me. It's, it's for, for me. everyone else's safety. <laughs> So I survived the morning show. Uh, but no, so, you know, the the uh, depending on which mythos you go with, there's yeah. all kinds of different things that you can find out about vampires. And uh, my thing is, you know, they're always very, uh, it's, it, they're very sensual. Mm -hmm. They're very, high, they have a really high perception. Right. They have kind of a disconnect from humanity, but they live forever. Now, sometimes, some vampires, it drives them nuts because they've been around forever. Right. But I don't have that problem. I don't get bored easily. Yeah. And I can think of all kinds of stuff I'd be doing. So you're incredibly powerful. Yep. You're incredibly charismatic. It's everything yeah. that I'm not right now. <laughs> and I get to live forever. I mean, so and like you're extraordinarily strong. You can fly. Yeah. You can turn into fog. You can turn into a bat. Yeah. So you're like almost like Batman, except, you know, actually. Like actually, yeah. Bat. Yeah. Around, you know? I mean, yeah. I mean, there's all kind of, you know, granted, you don't get to go around in the daylight until you no. reach a certain age. Once you get past <sighs> a certain age, you actually become immune to the effects of sunlight, depending on the mythology that you're going with. So... Give it some time, but since you have an eternity, it's yeah, it'll good. It's gonna eventually. go by real fast. Yeah, exactly. Do you think? Do you think as you as you live longer and longer? Because it's true. It's true for us in this life. As we live longer, our time goes faster. Do you think uh, if you were mortal, uh, an immortal vampire, a hundred years would go by in like a flash? So this is the and way it just I, goes faster and faster. You, you bring up a very good point. Time is actually a matter of. Perception. It's how you well, perceive yeah, time, right? Of course. So it's completely subjective. So it would depend on what you're doing and how you're doing it. You know, it, you know, if you're bored, it might go by slowly. If you're having a lot of fun, it could go by fast. So yeah. you know, I think that's all relative, depending on what's going on there. Cool. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. And, you know, also in the legends, you know, the, uh, the werewolves, depending on, once again, there's a lot of different mythology yeah. out there. Yeah. But uh, vampires, once they get past a certain age, are way more powerful oh, than werewolves. But up until that point, werewolves can kick your butt. So, yeah, you know, I mean, you just got to kind of avoid them until you get a little bit stronger. I think, I think I would also choose vampire. And my main reason is that werewolves don't have control over... Well, it depends what you see. You're going with the... Oh. Yeah. I with mean, I'm just going the accepted... Yeah. The, like, I feel like it's the most accepted theory when? is that if it's a full moon, you have no control, you're changing into a werewolf, that's just your reality for the next however long, eight hours. Yeah, well, like I said, it depends on the mythology. So we'll go with that. 
But there are some legends where they actually had some control, but then they didn't have control on the full moon. Right. And they were able to have different stages of their wolf form under okay. their control. But the problem with werewolves is they have uncontrollable rage. And so they're not in control of their emotions. They're very angry and very animalistic versus the vampire in, in the classic mythos is much more controlled and charismatic versus a crazy ball of hair with teeth. <laughs> it's like a chihuahua wait, though, on steroids. Wait, wait, wait. Though, don't vampires suffer from like uncontrollable bloodlust? Uh, no, actually. Once you get past a certain age in the vampire, like uh, once but again, in the beginning, yeah. once in the, in the beginning, yes, they have a huge yeah. problem with it. But as they age, they get, they learn to control yeah. it more and more. So, okay. you know, at the beginning you have some issues, obviously, yeah. you know, right. it's a whole new kind of it's, life. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> It'd be like if you won the lotto and you got all kinds of crazy stuff going on. All right. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so that was our question that Mario, uh, posed okay. for us yesterday. Okay. So well, there you I, go, Mario. Yeah, I wanted to uh, to make sure that we answered that for him because we said we would. Definitely, definitely. Uh, so, so yesterday we played Would You Rather. I don't think we'll be playing Would You Rather again today. Okay. But uh, right. but that is something that we'll be doing. Uh, I like it. It's, it's fun. It, it, it's entertaining. We, we had a lot of fun with it uh, <laughs> with it yesterday. So I wanted to ask you. Uh, it's Wednesday. We're like middle of the week here. How you how you doing today? Oh, it's definitely hump day. I tell you, yesterday was a nightmare. I heard. So I tried to install a sign up on the roof yesterday, and things were going eh, so-so. Yeah. And then we had to change some things up. We actually had some viewers make some nice suggestions, which we were already thinking about. And I went ahead and started doing that, and I got the banner up there, and then a windstorm kind of came in. And so oh, I was up on the roof leaning over the edge trying to install a banner and the wind just kept oh, flapping like this like that <laughs> and so i'm trying to bolt things together while there's a banner beating me in the head oh. and so uh, you know as I, I made a post yesterday you know discretion is the better part of valor and i said okay and i and i threw in the towel i said we'll have to do it uh, when it's not windy yeah and so uh, hopefully today you know the roof is a little wet from the rain it this is, morning uh... But uh, hopefully, I can get up there and get that done without slipping to my death. Yeah, I hope. I hope so. Yeah, I mean, well, we know. all. I'm pretty sure we all. Well, either way, it could be entertaining. So. I'm hoping. That. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, uh, not for me necessarily, yeah, no, but our viewers no. are probably get a kick out of that. I don't know that that is true. Uh, now, well, you know that that show. Uh, there, there's a couple of shows out there where people do that sort of thing on purpose, and people yeah, seem to like it. That's I true, know. but yeah, all right, fair, fair. <laughs> Just saying, reality TV is right. strange. I don't particularly care for it, but a lot of people appear apparently do. So, all right, fair, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. So, uh, so it is Wednesday. It's the second uh, second day of May. Oh yeah. Uh, See, my watch. Your watch says my watch still says it's the first because it. Got 31 it's... days, so I have to change it, and I have to remember oh. how to do that. So. Okay, <laughs> you should probably do that. Yeah, probably. So there's a holiday today that made me think of you. There's a holiday today. <laughs> what holiday is it today? There's three. There's, there's three of them today that I looked up. Uh, the first one is the Great American Grump Out. <laughs> <laughs> the Great American Grump Out. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds like a holiday I could get behind. Honestly, I, I had to look into it a little bit, and when I saw it, I thought it meant today was a day to be grumpy. Uh, I, I like it, the but part I'm grumpy that, every day. Why do I have to have a holiday for the it? It's the part that made me think of you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not what it sounds like. The idea of today is to not be grumpy. I don't know if I can get behind that. <laughs> wait, let me try it. Let me try it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. No, not, not happening. Not. You just said that you're grumpy every other day, so you should celebrate this holiday today. I should celebrate this holiday today? By not being grumpy. Well, how am I not supposed to be grumpy? It's like a state of being for me. I mean, come on now. Uh, Lois has a note at the door. She said you were a day early. I was a day for, early. For the Great American Grump Out. Oh, yes. Yesterday, yeah, yesterday was not a good day. No. It was definitely no. not a good day. <laughs> every day is what you make it, and uh, unfortunately, my reactions were uh, quite negative to the things that were going on. I suppose I should have celebrated getting beaten to death by a tarp, but in a windstorm, okay. on a roof. I, At least it wasn't raining, though. I guess I should be grateful for that. That is true. There you go. I, you know, and I didn't fall off the roof. That's a very good thing. Yeah, so, you know, it's, there's always a bonus. There right? is always a bonus. Always a plus side. To it's also play your ukulele day. Always look on the bright side of life. Do you know what 
a coincidence. I just heard that song for the first time yesterday. Are you serious? Yes. It's, what uh, is wrong with you? I Well, I clearly haven't lived. Um, <laughs> no, it's, it's Monty Python. It's Monty Python. I did know that. I hadn't actually listened to the song. <laughs> so I'm going on a road trip in a, about a month or so, month and a half. And I asked my friends on Facebook for suggestions for songs to play while on this road trip. Uh, and one of the suggestions uh, from my friend Jeff was... We'll always look on the sunny side of life. And so I'm listening to it, and it's it's like super happy and upbeat, and I'm like, oh, this is such a me song. And I'm listening to it for a couple of minutes, and then I start having this like existential crisis. <laughs> Money Python does that to some people, because yeah. Because the song gets a little dark and existential. <laughs> it, it, was, it was just, it was quite funny. Uh, and so funny that you mention it because I literally just listened to it for the first time yesterday. Nice. Well, well, there you so go. It Always out. look on the bright <laughs> side of life. Oh, oh, we have a comment. It's uh, Christine says morning. Good morning, Christine. Hi. Nice to see you out there. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Oh, and everybody that's out there, uh, don't forget to uh, like, comment, or share on this. We are trying yeah. to get your comments in on here. We do apologize. Sometimes I miss it because I'm way over here. Oh, the I got this. Way over there, and I can't see the hand in front of my face. So <laughs> if these things happen. Yeah, <clears throat> I'll, I'll I'll try and keep him uh, updated on updated okay. on what's going right. on over here on the on the comment section. Uh, all right. Uh, okay, so there's one more holiday today. Oh, so we got. We've got Great American Grump Out. Great American Grump Out, which uh, I'm failing. <laughs> we have Ukulele Day. I don't have a ukulele, so that, that doesn't I, I know, but I thought it was cute and okay. fun. I like right. ukulele music. You like so play, some, play some Hawaiian music if, or something? Yeah, Ooh. if someone plays me a ukulele music today, I'll be super happy. Nice. Uh, and then it's Take a Baby to Lunch Day. Take a Baby to Lunch Day. <laughs> which, to eat the baby? No. No, not to eat no. the baby. No. Are you sure? I'm like 90% sure. I don't know. I, I might be able to get behind that. I'm not no. sure. All right. My, all right. my thing was, what a funny way to word the holiday. Like, take a baby to lunch. Make, I mean, don't. Not your like, baby, somebody else. So you can kidnap no. someone's kid. That's what I'm saying. Take them to no. lunch and not get in trouble because it's a holiday. No. You well, cannot kidnap someone's child and take it to lunch. But it's the holiday that says that you can. No. <laughs> I think you still have to get permission. We don't read those out, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, all right. Because uh, if they comment, then we can read them out. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. how that works. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was paying attention, though. All right. I saw uh, it. Yeah, de definitely. I, I see what you're saying, but no. All right. So take a baby to lunch today, but make sure you have uh, the parent's permission first. Is, I, I don't is know. I, I, Maybe I, I, ask I'm, the parent out to lunch, and they'll bring the baby with you. Well, now it sounds like a dating service for people that have kids. It's not a dating service. You go to lunch <laughs> with your friends. I go to lunch with my friends all the time. Oh, okay. All right. All right. <laughs> so those are the three holidays. I don't have any friends, so I don't I know just, how this works. I'm rolling my eyes at you right now. <laughs> I, I, I'm just pointing these things out. That's all. All right. Fair. All right. I guess I'm chopped liver then. <laughs> chopped liver? I don't like liver. Maybe put some onions in it and I'll consider it, but probably all right. not. All right. So those were our three holidays today. All right, so we got Grumpy Day, Grumpy. which I'm failing at. Ukulele Day, which I'm failing at because I don't have a ukulele. And Take a Baby to Lunch Day. Which and you're apparently you're supposed to ask friends because don't have a baby. I don't have a baby. So, And I'm failing at that because apparently you're not allowed to just randomly pick one up and take them. I'm pretty sure that you should. And then you mentioned that I'm, you know, I could ask a friend to go out to lunch, but since I don't have any friends, you know, I mean, yes, yeah. Right? yeah. Katie, okay. Katie has a really good question. She said, "Does the baby have to be a human?" You know what? You got a good See, point. That's a good point. That's a good way of looking at it. That's so I could take a baby like a goat. Goat. Take a baby goat. To I don't have a baby goat either. Fine. I figure. You know what? You would probably be less likely to be arrested <laughs> for taking a baby goat than like. A baby baby. Are you saying stealing a baby goat is legal? No, I'm saying <laughs> that that if it's a goat farmer, maybe they won't recognize it as fast as a mom would recognize her missing baby. All right, okay. I, I might give you that. I'm I guess not, you probably have to talk to the farmer. This, this morning show does not endorse <laughs> goat burglary. Goat napping. Goat, yeah. goat napping. Goat napping. Wait, isn't that what those ones do that you scare that they fall <laughs> they over? <just> fall. <laughs> like, eh, eh. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's exactly what that is. <laughs> yeah, don't uh, don't kidnap in any in any form. No kidnapping. <laughs> oh, so uh, let's see. We... Renee says we'll put a picture of the snow in Flagstaff on your LPNN page. It is under 40, 40 degrees. 40 degrees. Oh. Um, actually, don't try and put it on the page because that won't work. But send it to us, and then we can post it for you. Sound yeah. like a good idea? Yeah. 
All right. Yeah. That's <clears throat> uh, that's pretty cold. 40 degrees. Well, I wonder what the temperature is here today. It's not it's super sunny. When I woke up this morning, I think it was like I think it was like 54 outside. I'm going to I'm going to use your oh, computer. Oh, that's my coffee. Away from the coffee. I wasn't gonna... I'm, I'm failing a grump toad day. Mm. <laughs> it's 40 mm. it's 47 here right now. According so, to that, according but that's to, right about 20% of the time. Oh, so. according to Google, it's yeah. 47%. Yeah, well, the weather station that they use is usually off 10 to 20 degrees oh. about 80% of the time. So That's a pretty big... That's uh, why the, the, the website that I use for weather actually works, and it's nice. usually pretty accurate. Nice. <laughs> Just All right. saying. Well, in any case, it looks like it's going to be kind of chilly today. Uh, and so it, that's a good, uh, good I believe segue. from the weather that uh, last night, uh, it's actually the high, I think, today is supposed to be 62. Oh, that's that's not too bad. Not too bad. Not not but too for bad. Lois, that's 20 degrees below her death zone, that's, so yeah, she's going to be freezing gonna be all day long. She's shivering like a chihuahua. So uh, in, in case uh, it is going to be cold out there today, I found on the internet... Uh, a new pair of jeans. Oh no! That you don't want to wear today because it's cold, and we're gonna have to show them a picture. Okay. okay. Uh, this is an outrageous pair of jeans. They're they're called extreme cutout jeans, uh, <laughs> and they've gone on sale for I think it's like a hundred and thirty eight dollars. Wait, is this is this family friendly? <laughs> um, we're gonna have to stick to the top half of this page. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. I'm with you. All right. all right. So, so don't react <laughs> until they can see it. Don't react. Don't. <laughs> but uh, that's the photo. There's. All right. We're let gonna me show them the photo of these outrageous jeans. Let's see if I can find it here. There we go. All right. Uh, they're on sale. You said. They're on sale. Uh, in a Los Angeles fashion outlet. Can I can I move the page or will it go over there too? Uh, yeah, if you scroll the page, it'll definitely go down. Okay, it, so. cool. Well, <laughs> we're not going to do that. It's been sold uh, for about $168 per pair. $168? So. For this. For this. This is not... If you have to wear pants under your pants, they're not pants. This is ridiculous. It, you know what? It <laughs> reminds me of women's bathing suits or lingerie. Yes. The less there is, the more expensive it is. And, and just in case you're wondering, the jeans have the exact same cutouts in the back. Are you serious? Yep. <laughs> That's why we can't scroll down the page. Oh, no. I mean, she's wearing, like, a bathing suit under it. But, but well, you that's can... not too horrible, then, as long as it's not, you know. Like... Yeah, no, there's no, but, I mean, it's, 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 yeah. They're well, very... who wants us to risk it? We'll they're... leave it up to the audience here. <laughs> they're very, very cut out. Oh, can geez. you believe, this is like. <laughs> Look at the pocket. Well, you can see, at least, see the... she, at least she has pockets. Yeah. That's, that's, that's something know what? that never Those happened. pockets actually look bigger than normal pockets in women's jeans. They had to, because if you don't have pockets that big, you're getting arrested for indecent exposure. Like, <laughs> so what you're saying, it's more for modesty, yeah. quote, unquote, <laughs> than it is for storing objects. I cannot believe that it's, <laughs> this is a thing. Like, <laughs> I have seen stranger things, but that's definitely high up there for clothing. $168. Yeah, like I said, it's like lingerie or bathing shredder. suits. The less stuff there is, the more expensive. And apparently, now with jeans. I just, I, I can't. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know what else to say. Yeah, it looks like she's wearing some kind of one-piece bathing suit. Under yeah, she for is. Decency, huh? She is. <laughs> but, but yeah, there's like nothing left. There's nothing. <laughs> These are not even pants. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I totally agree with you. Yeah. I mean, why bother at that point? I really, yeah. That's... Yeah, I mean, honestly, why would you spend that kind of money for that little of stuff? I mean, there's, there's no point. Like I said, if you have to buy clothes to go under your clothes... Like, you couldn't, you couldn't wear these and not wear a bathing suit underneath them or like... Well, you could, but I mean, you I don't wouldn't recommend that. No. <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> Although I have heard of parties where that's kind of the thing, but I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like the weirdest toga party ever. I just... Toga! Toga! <laughs> what? what the... oh, <laughs> That, you know, uh, yeah. I was going to say the same thing. I mean, honestly, everybody really does buy clothes to wear into their other uh, other clothes. That's well, why right. you know, they make underwear. So. Right, but you have to, like, <laughs> I just, no. No? No? no. All right, all right. No. I'll, I'll give it to you. I, there's no way I would ever buy something like that. Can you imagine what my hairy, bony legs would look like <laughs> sticking out of those things? No. Knobby knees clacking together. <laughs> I look like some kind of bizarre, distorted chicken that's mutated. You might make around. your money back because they'd pay you not to wear them. 
just kidding. Oh, I see how it I is. Wanna, I it. So, the, so I do want to say the headline says $239, but that's $239 New Zealand. What, well, what uh, is that? Like, like five it's bucks? It's hundred and sixty. It's $168. Oh, that's right. So, yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah. So I just like wanted to, yeah. Like no, that. no. Okay. It's $168. All right. So $168 US dollars is how much those cost. For these crazy jeans. Uh, the pictures have been posted uh, on online, and people are just people are ripping them apart. No, well, how can you rip them apart? No There's fun, nothing there. No fun intended. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh no. So, uh, so yeah, uh, this new fashion um, extreme cutout jeans are now on sale in an, in an LA fashion outlet. That is absolutely horrifying. You know, if you if you've got a hundred and sixty eight dollars to spare, and want to you know not have jeans, because <laughs> I say why bother at that point, right? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, that's basically. All right, well, let's let's go ahead. What what else do you have for yeah. us this morning, uh, there, Pizza Fairy? All right, so something else I've got that I thought was kind of fun. Uh, so. Was it yesterday or our first day? We talked about the museum that realized that, like... All their stuff was uh, fake? Yeah, over half of their paintings (laughs) were fake. I've got kind of the opposite story today. You have the opposite of a fake story, so a real story. Yes, a museum uh, has realized that they have this... uh, They have a rare elephant bird egg. An elephant bird egg? Apparently, and I had to look into this. An elephant bird is a prehistoric bird that was... Massive. I mean, okay. I mean, I know you're picturing like an emu right now. Mm-hmm. No, you're not thinking big enough. Really? What is uh, it like a Volkswagen bug? Holy cow! Uh, if you want to share that, there's a picture of yeah, how we'll big ahead. it is compared to a human. <laughs> that is a big bird right there. <laughs> that is a that is an elephant bird, uh, and you can see the outline of the uh, of the the human <laughs> down there. So. Uh, that's how big that guy is, and I personally wouldn't be standing where he's standing. Yeah, no, me either. You're either <laughs> gonna get an egg or some other kind of unpleasant <laughs> surprise. That's all I'm saying right there. Yeah, so so that's how big the elephant bird is. Um, and there is a museum in Buffalo, New York, mm-hmm. um, and they have an elephant bird egg. Um, and up until now, they've been saying that it was a replication. They thought, oh, they thought it was a replica. They thought it was a model. They didn't realize. <laughs> that it was an actual egg. They didn't realize that they not, they have an actual, <laughs> a real elephant bird uh, egg. Well, so how, how did they figure it out? What did they do, like ultrasound the thing or um, crack it and make it on there? Yeah. What's going on here? <laughs> it doesn't say how they realized it, but they were doing cataloging of their items recently and the curators um, discovered Somehow, uh, I don't. Somehow. I don't know the Somehow. exact details. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, they realized that it's a it's a foot tall. This a egg. foot tall egg. That it's is big. one heck of an omelet. I'm telling you right there. A foot tall elephant bird egg. <laughs> <laughs> It weighs more than three pounds. You, you could feed like three or four households on one of those things. I know. <laughs> Renee says she doesn't want that chasing her. Yeah, definitely you know, I don't not. blame you. I don't want this guy chasing me either. i peck your head right <laughs> off, man. It's... <laughs> it really would. Like, his beak is bigger than that guy's head. Yeah, as I said, he just comes up. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. Done. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Out of it. <laughs> so what I want to know is when is our Jurassic Park going to happen? You know, they've been talking about it for years. They're like, oh, it's not that hard. Oh, it's easy. Well, if it's so easy, where is Jurassic Park? I, on, and you've got a real elephant bird egg. And talk about your reality TV show. Oh, my God. You know, you got a bunch of idiots running around in a park getting eaten by dinosaurs. Oh. I mean, what kind of entertainment would that be? That's that would be amazing. crazy. It, would, it is. It is. Yeah. But I yeah. think that would be absolutely hilarious. I think that would be that would be pretty crazy. I because don't... the stuff that they do, it's like, oh, really? Uh, yeah. Why wouldn't you have a bigger fence? Why wouldn't you? I mean, so many things Why? that you're like, oh, oh, no. I would like to think that we would, uh, in reality, be a little smarter. Haven't you seen the movies? These are the smartest people in the world. They have no idea what the heck they're doing. Yeah, but if they were so smart the dinosaurs were contained, it would be like a 10-minute movie. And then it's over. Happily right. ever after. So then we would intentionally design it so that we could watch it on, on, on YouTube or Facebook and watch <laughs> people getting eaten by dinosaurs. No. no. It's like a new reality show. Like yeah. <laughs> it, it fit perfectly with my, my uh, celebration of Grumpy Day. Yeah. That would make me you happy. 
if you're the one that <laughs> gets to choose who's eaten by the dinosaur. Oh, like that would even be better. Make like it survivor? interactive. Yeah, it's a survivor. Yeah, survivor, and you vote someone off every week. And when they get voted off, oh. they get eaten by a T Rex or a Velociraptor. That's right? That's terrible. No, <laughs> no, that's a terrible idea. Let's not do it. Uh, but yeah, well, so, I disagree with you, though. So I'm just, I'm just saying here. You that's, know, fair. that's fair. That's <clears> fair. Um, <throat> but so the uh, the museum in Buffalo, they've discovered that their elephant bird egg is real, and All apparently, right. well, congratulations, uh, museum in Buffalo, New York. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. There are fewer than forty of these eggs really? uh, held in public institutions, so it's it's very rare. And they say it's how old again? Um, let's see. Do you know that's a really good question? Give me a second. Let me look at it. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't say it doesn't how old. Doesn't say how old it is. Okay. No, but it, it tells us a little bit more about the elephant bird. Uh, okay, do tell. Definitely. Thank goodness it was flightless. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about their poor prehistoric cars when it flies over and goes to the bathroom. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> You're done. Flintstones are dead that right totals, there. <laughs> totals your car right there. Yeah, you don't want to. You know. You don't want to sit under a tree if that guy's sitting up in it. Oh yeah. No, that's- <laughs> That's definitely bad juju right uh, there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these birds grew to be 10 feet tall. They weighed between 770 and 1, 1,100 pounds. 1,100 pound bird that lays a three pound egg. <laughs> yeah. You know, I had a little midget chicken that was kind of the opposite of that. <laughs> little tiny chicken. Huge egg. Get it's you. a really small egg until you compare it to the size of the bird, and it's like, how did how you did, do that? How did that come out of there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, these elephant birds laid the largest eggs of any vertebrate, including dinosaurs. Really? Yeah. That largest. is impressive. Yeah. So. And that's why they're extinct, I'm sure. I mean... <laughs> you know, I mean, could you imagine the you know, no. preparation age that they would need back then? <laughs> they just didn't have any, so they all died <laughs> off. <laughs> they just died of pain from having eggs. They're pretty much that's yeah. basically like, it. Ah! Yeah, yeah. So uh, the museum's going to unveil the egg to the public. Uh, well, they did yesterday. Is what, okay, so is they unveiled they... it. Like, they had it in the thing, and they thought it was a replica. But now they know it's real, they're going to unveil it. Yeah, because I'm guessing it got moved to a much more prominent... Uh, like, it, like, hey, it, look, it's actually real. Check it it out. probably has its own display now, would be my <laughs> guess. Uh, it's not, you know, in like in a little glass case with 17 other replicas. Okay, all it's, right. It's all probably right. on its own little pedestal now, because... It's Makes a sense. real egg. <laughs> uh, you could feed a lot of people with that omelet. Yeah, that's you, what I was saying. I mean, even a couple of households at least. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so I thought that was cool. I thought it related to, uh, to the thing that we were talking about the other day uh, with the museum and their fake stuff. Definitely, and definitely. This museum has real stuff. <clears throat> I'm, I'm being passed a note. Oh, uh, Lois has Let's something see. for us here. What do we have? Oh, thank you. Uh, Lois says the last sighting of the elephant bird was in the 17th century, according to Smithsonian Magazine. Wait a minute, you're telling me this sucker was running around with people? <laughs> Holy cow! That's terrifying. And there's no pictures, it's just like <laughs> sketches and stuff. In Madagascar. In Madagascar. Yeah. Well, strange yeah. things happen in Madagascar. Have you seen that cartoon? I, yes, I have. Oof. They yeah, didn't that's... have an elephant bird. Uh, nope, no elephant birds. So that is seven... way... I really thought it was way older I than that. I was thinking prehistoric. That's what I said. This is more I like clearly wrong. dodo bird or something. <laughs> I mean, it's like it was actually it there. Was there. Pecking people's heads off and giving you a three-pound omelets. I mean, I, what the <laughs> You cracked open one of those things and found like a caveman head in there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is, yeah. That's kind. Of, that's kind of freaky. That's that changes everything. Okay, so that's your mission for tomorrow. I want to see a drawing, a rendering of some kind from the 17th century of this elephant bird. I just. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta see it because there's got you know there there was people you know back then there was they were drawing they were sketching yeah. you know there was all kinds of weird yeah. things going on. Somebody had to have seen one and drawn it. I bet they did. You know, unless they're full of it and they were just like, oh yeah, I saw one the other day. And they right. actually did, it's you know, like Bigfoot. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. yeah. The search oh. for the elusive elephant bird. Well, apparently its eggs really exist. So. Oh, well, there you go. So it had to be real at some point. <laughs> right, but the 17th oh. century, that's a lot sooner than I, I figured Man, prehistoric. Man, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I was right there with you. I said prehistoric. I just, you know, I looked you at it and that I it's assumed, prehistoric, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know what they say about assuming. I, Yep, I know exactly what they say. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is hilarious. I, I just, yeah, yep. huge. Mm-hmm. So I have one more thing that I thought I'd share today. It's a, it's a well, I have a couple more things. It's, uh, but the next thing is a, a shorter thing. Uh, apparently, um, uh, yesterday, 
uh, something pretty traumatic happened at Universal Studios in Japan. Uh, something traumatic at Universal Studios. At Universal Studios in okay. Japan. Right. Do you like do you like roller coasters? <clears throat> Actually, yeah, I do. I, I do enjoy roller coasters. Yeah. Uh, what's your? Have, do you have like a favorite roller coaster? No, not really. They're just fun. I, I'm not a huge fan of yeah. the wooden ones because they they jar you they around make a lot. A lot of noises. Well, they do, and they shake you, and then as you go around the corners, like at the tops, they actually kind of lean out a little bit. Yeah, mm, you know, so not as good as like you know the ones where you turn upside down, and go inside out. You know, right? Like exactly, that. exactly. So, so Universal Studios in Japan, uh, they have a roller coaster where there's part of it where you're upside down, uh, and yesterday during one of its runs. The roller coaster stalled. It stalled? While it was upside down. <laughs> How long was it stuck upside down? About two hours. <laughs> Could you imagine how many people passed out? They used to do that for torture. You hang somebody upside down until they talk. You know? <laughs> There's got to be a lawsuit involved in this at some point. I don't know. Dozens. <laughs> dozens of people were stuck on this roller coaster. Uh, they were suspended 100 feet in the air. Oh, man. Upside down. <laughs> It's called the flying dinosaur. But uh, wait a minute, what <laughs> the flying? Di- How does it even work though? Because you know, coasters, roller coasters are gravity driven. It's not like they're actually mechanically driven. I don't so know. the whole point is for them to get up to a high point and then they fall and everything is lower than the starting point so that they eventually get back down to the ground. So how does it stall? So uh, what happened was two of the cars. Uh, on the coaster made an emergency stop. It doesn't say why or who triggered it. Okay, okay. But one of the cars stopped on the upward path of the track. Okay. So it wasn't quite at the top yet, enough for gravity to do its work, but it but it left some riders facing the ground below. Oh, and that emergency okay. stop right. just it stops it. It doesn't allow gravity to move the coaster any okay, longer. Okay, so it's got like brakes it, on it. It clamps on. So are you telling me that, that this roller coaster is kind of like a train where you can slam on that emergency brake like in the movies and everyone flies to the front and everything? I don't know. I hope So not. if they have this emergency brake, that means that this could happen again no, accidentally? I don't. I have no idea how it got triggered. Well, I'm uh, kind of looking forward to seeing if there's a button that I could push to I, make this happen. I'm pretty sure there's not. No? Pretty Especially sure. if I'm at the back and everybody else is upside down because I could laugh at them and point, you know? I, I don't think they would give writers that kind of... Well, you'd think not, but you never know, right? I, I mean, maybe I, it's a hidden button that somebody accidentally pushed. I I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, well, I hope that's not a thing. It might be. It might, but, uh, but yeah, apparently after about two hours, all the riders were safely guided back to the ground. Uh, and then the ride, Guided? Guided. You mean whether you undo the brakes and let them fall? <laughs> I mean, why? <laughs> I don't, know. Ah! I don't After know. After two hours upside down with all that blood in your head, then they let the roller coaster finish its ride. You'd, you'd be passed They out better have the given them like free food or something. <laughs> I don't know. Like you better free food. A free, a free pass. A year. I have a free hamburger for hanging upside down, passed out for <laughs> the last two hours. <laughs> Um, everyone, everyone made it back to the ground. No problem. Was there any bloody noses? Do know? It doesn't say anything about bloody yeah. noses, but it does say the ride resumed shortly after. So they went ahead and just kept they going. They kept going. <laughs> they were like, hey, we're going to do this. The <laughs> show must go on. Do you think that after all of that, there was anybody from the first ride that was like, hey, can I go again? <laughs> you guys are starting this right back up. I want another go at this. Yeah, I got gypped last time. I want to try that again. Two hours is not long enough to be hanging upside down from a roller coaster. Yeah, well, you think they'd be traumatized or something. I don't know. It's, yeah. I said they used to do that to torture people. Uh, hang yeah. them upside down until they pass out. Yeah. So, uh, so that happened yesterday in Universal Studios Japan <laughs> in Osaka. Oh, uh, man. The, uh, <laughs> The Jurassic Park themed flying dinosaur. We were just talking about that. I know. <laughs> and it's not prehistoric, we found out. So no. Yeah. All so right. uh, so well, yeah. Well this kinda goes along the lines of me talking about the reality show of real Jurassic Park. I guess that could be one of the attractions, but while you're hanging upside down, you've got a T-Rex that's just out of range, nipping right at your heads as you're sitting there passing nope, in and out of consciousness. I'm good. I'm just, good. Snap, 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 snap. <laughs> I don't think so. And then you could, like, place bets on maybe the T-Rex could jump just a little <laughs> higher and snap, snap, it's snap. like Hunger Games meets Jurassic Park is what you're talking about. I like about. it. Yeah, no. that could be a big hit. No. <laughs> We're not going there. Oh, it looks as like society, Lois has something over here. What do we got, Lois? As a society, we're not going there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I disagree. I think it could definitely happen. No. I'd watch it. I wouldn't. <laughs> That's terrible. What? And they're people. <laughs> oh, oh but, I, but you know what? It, it's Grump Day. 
No, it's Grump Out Day, which means don't be grumpy. Yeah, but You're missing the whole point of Great American Grump Out. Well, I'm out of coffee, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, man. No. Oh, and the little dregs that are in there are kind of cold. That's horrible. Just grab one of those coffee beans behind us. Yeah, let's see. Nice. <laughs> Somewhere. Can you reach it? <laughs> nope, I can't. But you gotta scoot over. You're pushing me off oh, the screen here. There, there we go. All right, that's better. I need the cup. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lois wants my getting, cup. You're getting a refill. Yeah. You're going to be participating in Got it. Out. It's been decided. <laughs> so yes, we're getting a we're refill of coffee. Time. Most yeah. excellent. Yeah. So so yeah. Uh, the Universal Studios roller coaster. Uh, in Japan, left uh, writers stranded. You mean the new reality show Upside in down, nope. Japan where they're going to be doing nope. dinosaurs on rides so, with them trying to catch people? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, they got to do it. Yeah. <sighs> so um, I do have uh, another thing that I thought would be funny to share today. All right, uh, and, and, yeah. and this is... Uh, <coughs> this is this uh, Renee is saying for you to get a refill, so she's, she's oh, on it. She's yes, on it. We're uh, Lois, on it. Lois is on it for me. Lois is great. She's got this refill thing uh, taken care of. Yes, yes. So I thought I'd share a dumb criminal story oh, God. today. <laughs> dumb criminal? I love dumb criminal stories. I personally believe... It's like another reality show right there. I personally believe that dumb criminal stories are the cornerstone of morning shows everywhere. You know, I, I would not disagree you with that. Cannot have a morning show without talking dumb criminals. Yeah, it's so like, so pretend like in the background you can hear the song. <laughs> what you gonna do when they come for you? Bad yeah, bad exactly. Bad 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 oh. oh, yay! Coffee. Look at that. We got refill. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I can be back going grumpy here. Okay. Wait, no, that's supposed to help you not be grumpy. You keep saying that. I don't think that means what you think it means. <laughs> All right, so our dumb criminal story that uh, that I had to share. Ooh, that's hot. Uh, I hope so. So that's something to be grumpy about right there. <sighs> Got a fresh refill of coffee and it's too hot. She cooked it too hot. <laughs> are you telling me? Are you telling me? <laughs> what? What? That you've got someone bringing you coffee. Mm -hmm. You didn't have to move. You didn't have to brew it. Right. You didn't have to do anything but pass well, the I cup over. I brewed it this morning when I got to the office. <laughs> you didn't have to brew it this time. <laughs> And you're telling me that you got a fresh cup of coffee delivered right to your face. Uh huh. And you're complaining? I'm not complaining. It's grump day, <laughs> so I'm grumpy about something. That you have to find not. a reason to be grumpy. It's not. The idea is not to be grumpy today. I, I don't agree with that. I like the grumpy day. All right. Well, you ha you have a grumpy day. I uh, will. I you will. do that. Yeah. You do that. So our dumb criminal story. Can we? Oh yes. Can we do please, the dumb please continue. Please continue. Mm. Our dumb criminal story today uh, comes from Springfield, Oregon. Um, an officer pulled into an Albertsons parking lot looking for a stolen vehicle. Okay. Uh, he didn't find the stolen vehicle that he was looking for, but he did spot a motorcycle with um, some really interesting vanity plates. It said like, oh, it said. <laughs> The ba the vanity plates on the motorcycle said X felon. <laughs> Wait a minute, X felon. X the letter X and then felon. I mean, there's a lot of things in life to be proud of, but really, you're gonna put that on? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, that's that's yeah. terrible. So so obviously the officer was like, hmm, I'm gonna check into this for a minute. Uh, those plates were expired, super expired from 1993. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, no. You would think that you would be able to tell that just by looking at it. Right, right. Because I would guess that plates have changed a lot since 1993. Well, maybe. Maybe but, not motorcycle plates yeah, so much. but <laughs> yeah, We have to check in that one. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, expired from 1993. And then... Huh? It, keep, it keeps getting better. Okay, then okay. the officer recognized the guy on the bike as a prior felon. <laughs> Obviously. Well, I'm going to say, it says right there, he he's got right a sign. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. what? It's like so, having subtitles. I mean, you already know, right? <laughs> you just announce everywhere you go that mm -hmm. you're an ex-felon. So the the officer ran a quick check on the guy, uh, found out that he was he was wanted. There was an active warrant out for his arrest. Okay. Uh, okay. Of course. Right. Of course. So he called for a marked patrol unit. Uh, to serve the warrant. Okay. okay. Uh, and that's uh, that's when the guy took off on a high speed motorcycle chase through city streets. This is in Springfield, Oregon. Okay. Okay. Uh, and the the chase went on and on until the guy turned down a dead end street. Okay. On this motorcycle. Uh, so he did what any dumb criminal would do. 
Or he what, what he that? got off the bike. Okay. And then he walked away claiming that it wasn't him that had just been on the motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> he, he literally <laughs> pulled a shaggy and said, and it, it wasn't me. It wasn't me? It wasn't me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. man. Uh, yeah, he got off the bike, walked away, and said, nope, that was not me. <laughs> well, that's, that's just too funny right yeah. there. I, uh, I like it. After like they it. watched him get off the bike... Uh, is it, obviously the excuse did not work. Well, if he didn't see them, maybe that you know that was his mentality. They can't see me, or I can't see them, so, so they, they can't, can't see me. me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so he got he got busted. He got charged with uh, unauthorized use of a motor vehicle, reckless driving, <laughs> and surprised to like nobody possession of methamphetamine. Well, there you go. There you go. I was gonna say. It sounds like he's smoking crack. Apparently, he was. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. So. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, oh, <laughs> the geez. lesson to learn <laughs> from this is is maybe don't have a license plate <laughs> that says ex felon that labels him yeah, that that tells police officers exactly what about like Superman or something that would be kind of cool right? yeah no you can totally do that yeah, I'd totally I mean, fool him I mean you could be the ex felon and be Superman you know unless you really are Superman uh, and then don't do that yeah but you know I mean you could just wear some glasses you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I still think that's a bad idea. Uh, okay. I still think if you're trying to keep a secret identity, you don't want to put that identity on your license plate. But sometimes hiding in plain sight, I'm telling you. I don't know. I don't. Right. Think well, all right. Well, we'll, I, we'll just have to agree to disagree. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, that was your your dumb criminal today from Springfield, Oregon, who uh, <laughs> led police on a chase. What's you gonna do when they come for you? Apparently, try and walk away yeah, like nothing happened. You're gonna walk away, yeah, and say it wasn't it wasn't me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It definitely wasn't me, though. But no. I don't know. That no. bike just is just sitting it's, there. I just found this here. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, so, so there you go. That's that's what I had today to uh, to share with everybody. All right. Well, I guess uh, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap it up then for the day. So, uh, thank everybody here for joining us and yeah. all the comments. Thank you guys yeah. for watching. Uh, don't forget that we've got all kinds of stuff going on throughout the day. Who knows? We might even do another behind the hat of me falling off of a roof or being grumpy. I mean, maybe yeah. both. Or both. You know, we've got the nightly news coming on tonight. Don't forget about that. And this weekend. Yes. This weekend, we've got the uh, the Lake Powell Cruisers. They're going to be doing the car show on Saturday. Keep your eyes open up for that. Yeah. And we are looking for a sponsor to cover our live coverage of that. So if you're a business or a group of people that want to sponsor us and... Uh, Help us keep the, the lights on and keep broadcasting for you. Let us know. Just send us an email or give us a Facebook message. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, happy hump day, everyone. Oh, yeah. Happy good, hump day. Have a good rest of your Wednesday. And uh, Chris will see you throughout the day. I'll see you again tomorrow. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us yeah. for the morning show. We appreciate yeah. that. Thanks for having me. All right. Let's see. Renee says, see you later. See you later, Renee. Bye. All right. Everybody have a good one. Bye, guys. We'll see you soon. Ha, ha, ha.